In this video, I'm going to show you my high voltage generator that I put together for use in making an electric capacitor. I was inspired for this project by a video the Plasma channel dropped recently. If you know nothing of electrics, I suggest you go to his channel and watch this video. This module can generate 1 to 150 kilohertz and 0 to 100 pulse width modulation. Paired with a 400 watt MOSFET switch to drive a 15 kilovolt step-up transformer. Then I send that AC into a 24 stage voltage multiplier. And then to collect it all is a 40 kilovolt capacitor. My HV power supply needs to meet three key requirements. Efficiency, controllable output, and portability. Efficiency ensures I can generate the necessary high voltage without excessive energy loss. Critical for consistent electric charging. Controllable output allows me to fine-tune the voltage precisely, matching the spark gap to the electric thickness and avoiding breakdown. Portability means I can easily set up and adjust the system without being tied to a bulky or stationary unit, making the entire process flexible and practical. I set the spark gap distance to match the thickness of the electric material to prevent breakdown sparking. By adjusting the gap precisely, I ensure the voltage applied is just below the threshold where sparking would occur. This prevents excessive ionization or discharge through the HDPE as it cools, allowing it to hold a stable, uniform charge. Fine-tuning the gap and monitoring the output ensures the electret forms properly without losing its charge due to unintended arcing. My electret enclosure and mold consist of a PVC ring, two end caps, a 10mm spacer and two charge collector plates, copper for the positive side and aluminum for the negative. By setting the spark gap distance to match the thickness of my electric material and lowering the PWM until sparking stops, I ensure there won't be any discharge through the material. This approach maintains the correct electric field strength, preventing breakdown while aligning and charging the material uniformly. The charge plates are connected on both sides, so when I apply a charge to one side, the other side, contacting the electret material, also gets charged. This ensures the electric field is evenly distributed across the material, creating a uniform charge during the cooling process. Everything in this video is a rough draft of my true vision. I plan to create custom enclosures for the circuits and design a dedicated docking station for charging the electrics. If you haven't already, please subscribe to follow along and see how this project evolves. And for the electret material, I'm using high-density polyethylene HDPE plastic. Milk or water jugs are a great inexpensive source for this. Scissors make quick work of cutting and prepping the HDPE for the melting stage, turning those jugs into manageable pieces ready for processing. A toaster oven will handle the melting phase. Well, that's all for this video. Next, I'll be designing and 3D printing the enclosure and docking station. In the next video, I'll be making the electret itself. You won't want to miss it. If you enjoyed this and want to support the project, please like, share and subscribe. Your support helps bring this vision to life.